I, friends, we're going to pray the seven sorrowful mother mysteries on the rosary that you've probably never heard of. So this rosary is actually very ancient and the traditions uh, around it um, have been held for over a thousand years or so. So what this rosary is, is it's a rosary with seven decades. And I know we're used to five decades with 10 beads for the Hail Marys. Well, this rosary has um, seven decades and each decade has seven Hail Marys on each one. So it's a little bit different, um, but they revolve around the seven sorrowful mysteries of Our Lady. And in the particular recording that I'm going to show you now, it is, or listen to now, this is recorded by Immaculate. And if you want to know her story, um, it's a pretty amazing one. Let me take you to where her story is right here. So um, Immaculate was uh, in Rwanda in the 80s and 90s when they had the genocide going on there. And if you want to know more about her story, just look up these words right here, Immaculate. And I don't even know how to pronounce her last name, but this is the particular video that is very important to watch. It's about forgiveness because the genocide that happened in Africa was horrendous. And this um, lovely lady was trapped in a bathroom for months. Because if she came out, they were going to kill her. And you really need to um, dig into her story. I couldn't do it justice here, but if you watch this Forgiveness in the Midst of Murder with Immaculate, um, she will tell you in her own words exactly what it took to forgive the people who murdered her family, who murdered her friends while she hid in a bathroom with people, other people, just to stay out alive for months on end. They lived in a bathroom, standing and taking turns sitting so they could sleep. Several of them were in the bathroom. I'm going to take the thunder by sharing the story with you. She's going to recite for you the seven sorrowful mother mysteries. It's a very beautiful and powerful rosary. Those of you who have um, a devotion to the rosary and to Our Lady know that she has performed many, 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 many miracles over the course of history. She has stopped bombs from dropping. She has stopped buildings from being destroyed. She has stopped people from being killed and in crazy circumstances. So if you want to learn more about Immaculate, she's going to read recite the rosary for us as we follow along here. Please take a moment and um, if you're interested in having this rosary for yourself, there's a link at the bottom. If you just look up this Immaculate Rosary, you can get a CD or probably an MP3 or I'm not sure the format now, but it's old school, right? So I have the CD inserted into my laptop here and we're going to pray along with that. It does take a while. Um, but let me just tell you that the blessings I personally have received by praying this rosary at least once a week have been astounding. And I'm not going to lie and tell you that I pray it every week. Um, but when I do, it's amazing how Our Lady works through that. So we're going to pray um, the seven mysteries together. And there are a couple of websites here at the bottom if you just want to go through through there and look up her story. It's really, really beautiful. So we're going to start with the first of the sorrows. Immaculate is going to read them for us. And it, we're going to follow along with her in this beautiful, beautiful rosary. So follow along with me. And before we get started, I'm going to start the audio file here. And get ready. You don't need to actually have a rosary. It's fine if you don't have one. So let's get started. I'm just going to be here in the corner, kind of quietly praying along with you. So hope you enjoy this. Play it whenever you'd like. It is a joy for me to share with you this rosary of the seven sorrows of the Blessed Mother. I got to know about this rosary when the Virgin Mary appeared in Rwanda in 1981 and she taught us the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows and she said that it existed a long time before but people have forgotten about it and she wanted to introduce it. Among the three visionaries that have been approved by the Church and the Vatican, 
in Kibeho in Rwanda, one of them had the mission to teach the world about the seven sorrows. And she died during the genocide. Her name is Marie Claire. So she told it to so many people, and among them is me. And I'm happy to share with you this treasure of the seven sorrows. The Blessed Mother have requested that you can say it every day or many times as you want, but the main days you can say it is especially Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesday, remembering the day she appeared to Marie Claire to reintroduce this rosary in the world, and Friday, the day Jesus died. She promised many many favors to those who would say this prayer. She said that those who will say it will have the grace to overcome the sins that we have found hard to overcome. We will overcome them, even when we pray it for somebody else. She also promised that whatever you ask for using this rosary, you will get it. There's so much blessings, so many graces, attached to this rosary and it is a joy for me to share it with you. I was in Rwanda during the genocide and I've seen the horrible thing the Blessed Mother have predicted during her apparitions to Rwanda since 1981, 13 years before the genocide happened. And if there's one thing I can tell you, if you believe she have appeared anywhere, listen to her, listen to her. We did not listen to her warning and we couldn't escape the consequences of us not listening to her as a mother. She cried many times, she wanted to protect us from the genocide and we did not listen to what she was asking us to do. So this is one of the gifts she gave us to share with you, to share with the world. And I am happy to share it with you. And you will get more details of the apparition of Kibeho in my book, Our Lady of Kibeho. Mary speaks to the world from the heart of Africa. Thank you very much for sharing this prayer with me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My God, I offer you this rosary for your glory, so that I can honor your Holy Mother, the Blessed Virgin, so I can share and meditate upon her sufferings. I humbly beg you to give me true repentance for all my sins. Give me wisdom and humility so that I may receive all the indulgences contained in this prayer. Act of Contrition O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all, because they offend you, my God, you who are all good, and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
most merciful mother, remind us always about the sorrows of your son, Jesus. First sorrow, the prophecy of Simeon. The Blessed Virgin takes Jesus to the temple as tradition demanded all newborns to be blessed in the temple before God. In the temple, the old priest Simeon held the baby Jesus in his hands and the Holy Spirit filled his heart. Simeon recognized Jesus as the promised Savior and held the child high towards heaven, thanking God for granting his wish that he would live long enough to behold the Messiah. Now your servant may depart this life in peace, my Lord, he said. Then he looked upon Mary and said, And you, woman, a sword of sorrow will pierce your heart because of the suffering that shall befall your child. The Blessed Virgin knew that she had given birth to the Savior of man. She immediately understood and accepted Simeon's prophecy. Though her heart was deeply touched by this favor of bearing the baby Jesus, her heart remained heavy and troubled, for she knew what was written about the suffering and the death of Jesus. Whenever she saw Jesus as a child, she was constantly reminded of his suffering that was coming, and she suffered as well. Beloved Mother Mary, whose heart suffered beyond bearing because of us, teach us to suffer with you and with love and to accept all the suffering God deems it necessary to send our way. Let us suffer and may our suffering be known to God only, like yours and that of Jesus. Do not let us show our suffering to the world, so our suffering will matter more and be used to atone for the sins of the world. You, Mother, who suffered with the Savior of the world, we offer you our suffering and the suffering of the world because we are all your children. Join those sorrows to your own and to those of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then offer them to God, the Father of the world, so he will know the one who created it. You are the Mother greater than all. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most merciful Mother, remind us always about the sorrows of your Son, Jesus. Second sorrow, the flight into Egypt. Mary's mother's heart broke and her mind was greatly troubled when Joseph revealed to her the words of the angel that they should wake up quickly and flee to Egypt because Herod wanted to kill the infant Jesus. The blessed Virgin Mary hardly had time to decide what to take and leave behind. She took the child Jesus, left everything, rushed outside before Joseph so that they could hurry as God wished. Then she said, Even though God has power over everything, He wants us to flee with Jesus, His Son. God will show us the way, and we shall arrive without being caught by the enemy. Because the blessed virgin was the mother of Jesus, she loved him more than anyone else. Her heart was deeply troubled at the sight of the discomfort of her child, Jesus. She suffered greatly because Jesus was cold and shivering. And though they were tired, sleepy and hungry during this long travel, her only thought was about the safety and the comfort of her son. She feared coming face to face with the soldiers who wanted to kill the baby Jesus. Because she was aware that the enemy was still in the Bethlehem, her heart remained constantly anguished during this flight. She also knew that where they were going, there would be no friendly faces to greet them. Beloved Mother, who has suffered so much, give to us your courageous heart. Give us the strength so that we can be brave like you were, like you, and accept with love the suffering God sends our way, and accept all the suffering we inflict upon ourselves and the suffering inflicted upon us by others. Heavenly Mother, you alone purify our suffering so that we may give glory to God and save our souls. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most merciful Mother, remind us always about the sorrows of your Son, Jesus. Third sorrow, the loss of Jesus in the temple. Jesus was the only begotten Son of God, and also the Virgin Mary's Son. The Blessed Virgin loved Jesus more than herself, because he was her God. Compared to other children, he was the most unique child because he was already living as God. When Mary lost him on their way back from Jerusalem, the world became so big and lonely that she believed that she couldn't go on living without her son Jesus. So great was her sorrow. Jesus had pleased her in everything. He never annoyed her in any way, nor would he ever depease his parents. As she looked anxiously for her beloved Jesus, deep pain welled in her heart. She blamed herself, asking why she didn't take greater care of him. But it was not her fault. Jesus no longer needed her protection as before. What pained Mary was that Jesus had decided to stay behind without her consent. She knew, however, that her son always did what was necessary and she never suspected him of being disobedient. Mary felt the pain Jesus felt when he was abandoned by his apostles during his passion. Beloved Mother, teach us to accept all the sufferings because of our sins and to atone for the sins of the whole world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now wow. and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most merciful Mother, remind us always the sorrows of your Son, Jesus. Fourth sorrow. Mary meets Jesus on the way to Calvary. The Blessed Virgin meets Jesus carrying the cross on which he is to be crucified. See the anguish on her face. John is informing her that Jesus, her beloved son, is going to be hanged on Calvary. Mary sees Jesus carrying the heavy cross alone, the cross on which he is to be crucified. This doesn't surprise the Blessed Virgin, because she already knew about the approaching death of our Lord Jesus. Already weakened by the numerous hard blows given with the soldiers' clubs, his body resembles a corpse carrying the cross. Simon was ordered to help Jesus carrying the cross. The soldiers kept hurrying and pushing him, he had no strength left. Then he falls once more, exhausted, unable to raise himself. At that moment, Mary's eyes, full of tender love and compassion, meet his eyes, which were pained and covered in the blood. Their hearts seemed to be sharing the Lord. Every pain he felt she felt it as well. Nothing can be done except to believe and trust in God and dedicate that suffering to Him. All they could do was put everything in God's hands. Beloved Mother, so stricken with grief, help us to bear our own suffering with courage and love so that we may relieve your sorrowful heart and that of Jesus. In doing so, may we give glory to God, who gave you and Jesus to humanity, to us. As you suffered, teach us to suffer silently and patiently. Grant unto us the grace of loving God in everything, O Mother of Sorrows. O Mother most afflicted of all mothers, have mercy on the sinners of the whole world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour 
of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most merciful Mother, remind us always the sorrows of your Son, Jesus. Fifth sorrow. Mary stands at the foot of the cross. The blessed Virgin Mary met Jesus and continued to climb the Mount of Calvary, following behind him painfully and sorrowfully with deep anguish, suffering silently. She could see him staggering and falling with the cross. She witnessed her son being beaten by the soldiers who pulled his hair to force him to stand up. Despite his innocence, when he reached the top of the Calvary, Jesus was ordered to confess in front of the crowd so they could laugh at him even more. Mary deeply felt Jesus' pain and humiliation. His tormentors forced him to strip off what was left of his clothing. The blessed virgin felt sick at heart, seeing these tyrants crucifying her son naked, shaming him terribly, merely to amuse the crowd. Jesus and Mary felt most disgraced than normal people because they were without sin and holy. The blessed Virgin Mary felt pain beyond bearing when Jesus was stretched out on the cross. His murderers sang Mary as they approached him with hammers and nails. They sat on him heavily so he would not move when they spiked him to the wood. As they hammered the nails through his hands and feet, Mary felt the blows in her heart. The nails pierced her flesh and they tore into her son's body. She felt her life fading away. As they lifted the cross to drop it into the hole they had dug, they deliberately jerked it causing Jesus' bodily weight to tear through the flesh on his hands and expose his bone. The pain shot through his body like liquid fire. He endured three excruciating hours suffering on the cross. The physical pain was nothing compared to the agonizing heartache he was forced to bear, seeing his mother suffering below him. Then Jesus died, and the spirit of his blessed mother died with him. When his broken, sacred body was taken down from the cross, it was placed into the sorrowful hands of his mother. Beloved Mother, Queen of Martyrs, give us the courage you had in your sufferings so that we may unite our suffering with yours and give glory to God. Help us follow all his commandments and those of the church so that Jesus' sacrifice will not be in vain and all sinners in the world will be saved. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most merciful Mother, remind us always the sorrows of your Son, Jesus. Six sorrow. Mary receives the dead body of Jesus in her arms. The friend of Jesus, Joseph and Nicodem, took down the body of Jesus from the cross and placed it in the arms of the Blessed Virgin. Then Mary washed it with deep respect and love because she was his mother. She knew better than anyone else that he was God incarnate who took a human body to become the savior of all people. She could see the terrifying wounds from the flogging he received while at Pirates. His flesh had been shredded and large strips had been torn from his back. His entire body was lacerated. Gaping wounds crisscrossed him from the head to toe. Mary found the wounds from the nails were less severe than those caused by the flogging and the carrying of the cross. His beloved mother was horrified, and the thought that he managed to carry the heavy, splintered cross all the way to Calvary. She saw the circle of blood the crown of thorns has made on his forehead, and to her horror, she realized many of the barbed thorns has dug so deeply into the scar they would penetrated his brain. Looking at her broken son, she knew Jesus' agonizing death was far worse than the torture the worst criminal has received. As she cleaned his damaged body, she envisioned him during each stage of his short life, remembering her first look at his beautiful newborn face as they lay in a manger and every day in between as she gently washed his lifeless body. Her anguish was relentless as she prepared her son for burial, but she remained brave and strong, becoming the true queen of martyrs. As she cleaned her son, she prayed that everybody would know the riches of paradise and enter the gates of heaven. She prayed that every soul in the world will embrace God's love. We thank you, beloved mother, for your courage as you stood beneath your dying child to comfort him on the cross. As our Savior drew his last breath, you became a wonderful mother to all of us. You became the mother of the world. We know that you love us more than our own earthly mothers or fathers. 
we implore you to be our advocate before the throne of mercy and grace so that we can truly become your children. We thank you for Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer, and we thank Jesus for giving you to us. Please pray for us, Mother. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most merciful Mother, remind us always the sorrows of your Son, Jesus. Seventh Sorrow Jesus is placed in the tomb. The life of the Blessed Virgin Mary was closely linked to that of Jesus. So she thought there was no reason for her to go on living any longer. Her only comfort was that his death has ended his unspeakable suffering. Our sorrowful mother, with the help of John and the holy women, devoutly placed Jesus' body in the sepulchre and she left him there as any other dead person. She went home with great pain and tremendous sorrow. For the first time she was without him and her loneliness was a new and bitter source of pain. Her heart had been dying since Jesus' heart had stopped beating. But she was certain that her son, the Son of God, will soon be resurrected. Most beloved mother, whose beauty surpassed that of all mothers, mother of mercy, mother of God, and mother to us all, we are your children, and we place all our trust in you. Teach us to see God in all things, in all situations, even in our sufferings. Help us to understand the importance of suffering and to understand the purpose God has intended for our suffering. You, yourself, were conceived and born without sin. You are the Immaculate Conception. You were preserved from the original sin, and yet you suffered more than anybody. You accepted suffering and pain with love, and beyond courage. You stood by your son 
from the time Jesus was arrested until he died. You suffered along Jesus, felt every pain and torment he did go through. You accomplished the will of God, the Father, and according to his will, you became our Savior with Jesus. We beg you, dear Mother, teach us to do as Jesus did. Teach us to accept our cross courageously. We trust you, most merciful Mother. Teach us to sacrifice for all the sinners of the world. Help us to follow in Jesus' footsteps and even be willing to lay down our lives for others. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most merciful Mother, remind us always the sorrows of your Son, Jesus. Closing Prayer Queen of Martyrs, your heart suffered so much. I beg you by the merits of the tears you shed in these terrible and sorrowful times to obtain for me and all the sinners of the world the grace of complete sincerity and repentance. Amen. The heart of Mary conceived without sin and have suffered for us, pray for us. The heart of Mary conceived without sin and have suffered for us, pray for us. The heart of Mary conceived without sin and have suffered for us, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. an awesome prayer oh my goodness totally love it um, and pretty much guaranteed to change the world so i hope you enjoyed that again please go find out a little bit more about immaculate and her incredible story of living through the genocide in rwanda uh, kibeho in rwanda which is in africa and you would find out much more about her and be even more impressed by this lovely lovely lady and the power of our blessed. Great day. Love you.